Hey, what's going on guys and girls and welcome back to my page, my channel, whatever you want to call it. Hey, it's that time of year again. Depending on where you live, it's sooner than others. Well, the leaves are starting to change. It's going to be, leaves are going to be hitting the ground. In the desert, you don't have to worry about this too much, but if you're a driver, you know, doing that coast to coast thing, move up north, northeast, and northwest, and you actually use your radio, then uh, it's that time, man. It's that time to do your, your maintenance. You know, you do it in the fall, and you do it in the spring. Don't wait. Don't wait till you're stuck in traffic, or you're rear end somebody, or something bad happens. Get it done now. Let me explain a couple of things to help you out a little bit. Make things easier. It's, it's work, though, but it's, it's up to you. It's not a CB shop. It's not your company truck or the company. Which, when I was open to the public, I hear all kinds of goofy shit from people. You know, I say, no. Your truck does not care who owns the radio. So remember that. So it's up to you. If you want it to work, you do all the grunt work. You get all dirty. You do all the grinding and cutting and filing and sanding. If you want it to work right, well, I got a couple of videos here on my channel to help you out and what to do. And if you become one of my customers, you know that you know you get the one-on-one -on -one when you become a customer, not before. Anyways, if you have an aluminum bracket on your truck, the smartest thing to do. Now this is if your time is completely worthless, has no value. You'll sit there and try to clean it and machine it. But don't do that crap, man. These are like, to what, 10 bucks, 15 bucks? You replace it. Don't clean it. Replace it. You have a stud like this. Trash it. Okay, you gotta be careful with some of the generic studs that look like these in the truck stops. The truck stops don't sell quality studs that look like this. Well, they look like this, but they're junk. I'm not gonna give out any names. They're junk. Stainless steel bracket, stainless steel stud. These can be used over and over again. Now you can't mount some Jagundas antenna on it with a lot of wind drag and snow, you know. These will come apart. But anyways, the stainless steel studs can be cleaned, serviced, and they don't gull. See, the aluminum ones will gull. They'll corrode. Throw it away. It's useless. Use quality equipment. You use quality equipment, odds are it's going to work when you need that radio to work when it's most important. Also, coax. How it's sealed. Now, you have to do the taping if you have to do it. That part's up to you also. I do the stuff that you normally can't find anywhere else. You know, real Amphenol ends, properly soldered, 240. Really good coax. If you look up the specs, it'll handle any kind of weather and wind that you can throw at it, I promise. Let's see, I think I pretty much covered everything. Yeah, I, I gotta put a bunch of stuff. I can't believe how fast you go through 200 components. Anyways, did I cover it all? Yeah, I wanted to say. It's safety first, and remember, it's up to you. Check in your radio, you know, it's just like a motor vehicle inspection. It goes to the same thing if you're driving a pickup truck or a hot shot or a car you know I've got a couple of videos on that too what you can do to help seal your antennas and magnet mounts to keep them clean and to where they work nothing worse than to have this stuff sitting around or on your vehicle and then you go to key the mic and it doesn't work or it starts smoking if that's the case that's your fault nobody else's fault I hope some of this is informative. Remember, it's not that long from now, so get it done. Many times, I don't know, man, 50-50, it might be where you can just take it apart, clean it, put it back together. But many other times, depending on the vehicle and how old it is, it ain't going to work as easy as you think. You need all the supplies on hand. If you have the good stuff, then, you know, Odds are, you just take it apart and clean it. By the way, I remembered something. Now, you can go purchase 
a caulking tube of dielectric grease and spend a fortune or actually any more I'm noticing over by at Walmart the tail light and you know the 1156's 1157's and headlights section where you buy your bulbs they carry dielectric grease now you can buy small tubes I forget the price like five bucks something like that and you can coat everything toss that in your toolbox or whatever and you'll have it but at least you don't have to spend a fortune and have a big tube of it will it help? yes it will I hope some of this is informative. Remember, safety first always. Hard drive, 163, down by the Rio Grande. I'm clear, click, click.